Hey, hey, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. How are you all doing tonight? It's going to be a little bit of a rough night here with, uh, I put too much in my title, so I don't have egg drop. <laughs> so, I am sorry. It is going to be a little difficult, but that's all right. Uh, we're just going to keep an eye on the comments, and hopefully you guys will be able to, uh, uh just be ready to repeat something if I, uh, don't get, uh, Mm -hmm. I don't get it out there enough. Uh, hey, thanks for joining, Sherry. Thank you for joining. Mm -hmm. Who else we got in the house tonight? We have, let's see, over here on Periscope. We have Sherry, we have Diana, we have Scott, we have Wayne. Thank you for joining. And thank you for uh, joining me here. All right, guys. Uh, let's see. Hopefully I'm not, like... To myself here. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for joining. So, um, just want to, man, my, uh, my computer is acting tough tonight. It's really being, uh, difficult, so it's going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting. No egg bot and, um, and computer acting a little sluggish. I think it's actually crashing on me. It doesn't feel right. Is, uh, the stream good or not good? Is it bad for you? It doesn't seem like everything's well here at all. One, if you can hear and see me well. Please, one, if you can hear and see me well. Sorry, and there's a bit of a delay today. Wow. Alright, so it seems to be leveling out, maybe. Um, that's good. Alright, perfect. Alright, so I am Jason Wallace. I am a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. I am a prayer warrior, an intercessor, a Bible reader. Thank you. Thank you guys for, uh, for letting me know. I am a devoted husband and father. I am a child of God. I am a new creation in Christ. I am a saint. I am God's workmanship created in Christ for good works. I am a citizen of heaven. I am a proud member of the Jesus Did It family. And uh, I tell you right now, uh, after this broadcast, if you want to know any more of these I am statements of who you are in, uh, in Jesus Christ, all you got to do is go over to the Jesus Did It website after this broadcast and take a look. Right uh, when you go to the website, there's going to be this big red arrow over there. It's going to have a download link. Uh, download that PDF file and look at it. And it'll have the Bible verses and all the I am statements. So the Bible tells you who you are uh, in Christ. So it's a really, really good thing. 
also there on our, on there I'm skipping on busker oh no it's skipping It looks like it's doing the same thing on um, YouTube as well. I might I might have to reboot my computer. I don't know. Hopefully we'll be able to stick it out here. Hopefully it's not too bad on Busker. Uh, so there is um, it might be the fan too is making the uh, the sound not well either. Uh, so yes, on the website there there is a bunch of broadcasters who broadcast under the under the hashtag Jesus did it. And there's also um, other other broadcasters on there. Those are the ones that we like to watch. And there's also some shirts, some hats, some hoodies, some uh, some mugs, stuff like that. Make zero zero the makes enough to cover cover just the the cost of the website. Um, you know that that uh, that's up there. So uh, we make no money on this stuff here. Rick makes no money. It's all his stuff, and um, and uh, it's really just good stuff. All we want to do is promote the name of Jesus Christ. Is what we want to do. So uh, if you want to get one of those shirts, hashtag, you know, go take a look at the website. There's also Scripture Thought of the Day. There's some really, really cool stuff there. Rick Costa, see, there he is. Follow Rick. If you're not following Rick, you really should be. He's a really, really good dude, and he's the one who uh, made, that, made that website. And, um, and he is definitely uh, a good dude to follow. All right, guys, um, we did it. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep praising for. It. I'm gonna keep praising until until I leave. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna keep praising until I leave uh, for the trip. Uh, that uh, you guys helped get me to reach my goal and above. And um, listen, keep me still in prayer. We're still not there yet, right? We're still not down boots on the ground yet. And uh, pray for us when we do go there, because uh, during that week, I really, really, really would love to have your prayers uh, more, just to um. More just for guidance and and for um, and for protection while we're down there. Yep, poor Jesus did it absolutely. And um, you know, while you're praying there too, if uh, if God lays it on your heart to uh, to donate, go right ahead. Any extra money that is made for this trip is going to be going for a couple of different things. Um, it's going to be going for buying uh, more Bibles, some more special 1960 uh, version of the Spanish Bible, so that way we can distribute the Bibles to the people of the Dominican Republic. And then also, um, we're going to be um, getting more hygiene bags and more f be able to buy more food bags, stuff for food bags, so we can distribute to people that are inside the Sugar King villages. Um, and uh, and also, if there's any money left over, uh, it, I'll be uh, when we go to church. It's uh, on Sunday and Wednesday. Um, I'll be uh, I'll be putting the money into the dish and whatever local church we are going to there. Just to help uh, help them out. So definitely, guys. Um, is it frozen? If it's frozen, I'm just, I'm gonna reboot. I'll I'll restart if it's frozen. What's that beep? What's beeping? Uh oh, something's beeping. I don't hear anything beeping. So I'm wondering if it's not my uh, phone buzzing. It might be my phone buzzing. You're hearing like a buzzing? Bzz, bzz. It might be my phone buzzing. People are tweeting. Uh, when everybody when everybody tweets, that's what happens. All right. Um, a loud beeping. I do not hear a beeping. Uh oh. All right. Time to cut out all music. <laughs> Is the beeping go? Maybe that's it. Is it like an er, er, er type thing? Alright, so the streams look okay now. We, we seem to be very stable, sort of. Uh, so I'm going to keep on moving along and we'll see what happens. Maybe it's just uh, just that. So, uh, man, really low numbers tonight. Miss Tommy Mor Norman must be on. <laughs> there it is again. So, yeah, it's got to be the tweets. Uh, keep tweeting out because. Um, the hashtag Jason three million hearts. Uh, at the end of this broadcast, we're going to um, we're going to do a competition agency. It's better now on Busker. I'm getting reports back, and the stream looks good. And there's nobody watching it over on YouTube, but that's all right. Um, I wanted to do YouTube for a couple reasons. Um, uh, one, to be able to keep a copy of these recordings somewhere other than on my computer. 
Um, yep, Tommy's on. Yep, that's usually what happens when Tommy's on, which I don't blame anybody. She is an awesome, awesome preacher, and um, and definitely a good teacher. So um, definitely. So let's see what we got here. All right, my Bible verses did not start in the right spot, of course, but we're gonna just talk, right? Um, we're gonna talk here for a second, and then we'll come back to it. Uh, let me pull this back out again, and we'll just we'll see how this works. Oh man, it started in the wrong spot. I'm so sorry, guys. Give me a second. We'll get this uh, rectified here in a second, and uh, hopefully it will just uh, it will disappear for a second, and then it should reappear. It should start in the new spot, and it's not. Of course not. <laughs> That's all right. It's going to be on YouTube as well. I wasn't getting it. Yes, it's on YouTube as well. Go look for Jason Wallace on YouTube, and you will find me on YouTube. Um, and it's just so I can keep a copy um, of of the recordings because um, uh, I'm running out of space in my hard drive. <laughs> So, and uh, I really like to keep the recordings in because uh, Periscope dumps dumps them after so so often, and and if you don't pay for the paid version of Egg Drop, it doesn't uh, work either. So, all right, guys. So, like I said, I'm I'm without Egg Drop today because it got chopped off on the end of it. So, um, definitely, you know what we can do is we can speed this guy up for a second. Let's speed it up. Whoa. There we go. Alright, so the altar on Mount Ebal, right? That's where we're going to be at, the altar on Mount Ebal. It's, it's going a little fast now, so let me slow it down. Let me slow it down. There we go. That'll be a little better. So the altar on Mount Ebal, this is a Deuteronomy chapter 27. Um, Moses and the elders of Israel commanded the people, keep all these commands that I give you today. When you have crossed the Jordan into the land of the Lord your God is giving you, set up some large stones and uh, and coat them with plaster. Write on them all the words of the law when uh, when you have crossed over to enter the land of the Lord your God is giving you. <clears throat> A land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord and the Lord the God of your ancestors promised you. And when you have crossed the Jordan, Set up these stones at Mount Ebal, as, as, uh, as I command you today, and coat them with plaster. Build there an altar to the Lord your God, the altar of stones. Do not use any iron tool on them. Build the altar of the Lord your God with field stones, and burnt offerings on it, on it to the Lord your God. Sacrifice fellowship offerings here. Uh, there, uh, eating them and rejoicing in the presence of the Lord your God. And you shall write very clearly all the words of this law on these stones you have set up. The curses from Mount Ebal. Then, then Moses and the Levitical priest set, uh, set, or I'm sorry, said to all Israel, Be silent, Israel, and listen. You have now become the people who the Lord your God, the people of the Lord your God, obey the Lord your God, and follow the commands and decrees that I give you today. On the same day, Moses commanded the people, "When you have crossed the Jordan, the, these tribes shall stand on Mount Gerizim to bless the people: Simeon, Levi, Judah, uh, Issachar." Joseph and Benjamin, and these tribes shall shall stand on Mount Ebal to pronounce curses: Reuben, Gad, Asher, Zebulun, Dan, and Naphtali. Nef Naphtali. I'm not, I never say that right. I'm so sorry. Um, the Levites shall recite to the people of the, of Israel in a loud voice: Cursed is anyone who makes an idol, a thing detestable to the Lord the work of skilled hands, and sets it up in, a, in, a, in secret. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who dishonors their mother or father, or your father or mother. Then all the people shall say, Amen. 
cursed is anyone who moves their neighbor's boundary stone. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who leads the blind astray on the road. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who holds justice from the foreigner, the father, the fatherless, or a widow. Then the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who sleeps with his father's wife, for he dishonors his father's bed. And then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who has sexual relations with any animal. Uh, then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who sleeps with his sister, the daughter of his father, or the daughter of his mother. Then all the people shall say, Amen. I know, right? So, so this is a very interesting reading, right? Cursed is anyone who sleeps with his mother-in-law. Wow. <laughs> they, uh, then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who kills their neighbor secretly. Oh yeah, gets kill him secretly. That's interesting. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who accepts a bribe to kill an innocent person. Then all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is anyone who does not uphold the words of this law by carrying them out. Then all the people shall say, Amen. And that is chapter 27 of Deuteronomy. And, um... Uh, Looks like the screen is lagging, lagging, lagging behind a little bit. I must have made it a little bit too slow, but that's all right. What a wild culture, right? And you wonder why. You wonder why. He, he, yeah, God had to bring a, um, uh, you know, bring a savior to our to the world here because because uh, we messed it up. We messed it up bad. <laughs> we messed it up real bad. So um, yeah. Alright, sorry, I'm doing some busker work over here right now. I'm trying to get busker uh, cleared up while we're doing the uh, getting the rest of the words out. That is great, Cray, no doubt. Alright, guys, if I missed any comments, I'm so sorry. Egg drop is not running today because I messed it up. So, if you uh, if you put something in the chat stream, please type it again. I was looking down when I was reading, and there is no way that I caught what you were what you were saying. All right, guys. So um, every night we read from the Our Daily Bread. The Our Daily Bread is a free publication that uh, it may be at your church. Uh, just look; it might be look familiar. Might look familiar to you. Uh, the screen is kind of there. The color is really off. There we go. Our Daily Bread. It's a little book. It might be at your church. Um, take a look and see. If not, go to the website up there. Up there. Up there. Up there. Website odb.org to um, to get yourself your own copy. All right, so today for Thursday, June 8th, yes, and I made it under the wire. It is still Thursday, June 8th for me. All right, so for uh, Thursday, June 8th, Rings and Grace is the title, and it's written by uh, Kelia Ochoa, and I probably said that person's name wrong. I'm waiting for the email one of these days for someone, one of these people that, that are on here to tell me I, I said their name wrong. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. When I look at my hands, I am reminded that I lost my wedding and engagement rings. Wow, that's gotta be a tough deal there, man. I was multitasking as I packed for a trip and still have no idea where they ended up. I dreaded telling my husband about my careless mistake, worried about how news, how the news would affect him. But he responded with more compassion and care for me than concern over the rings. However, there are many times when I still want to do something to earn his grace. He, he, on the contrary, doesn't hold this episode against me. That's a strong man right there. As so many times, we remember our sins, and we feel that we must do something to earn God's forgiveness. There you go. But God has said, it is by grace, not by works that we are saved. Speaking of a new covenant, God promised Israel, I will, for, I will forgive their wickedness and I will remember their sins no more. We have a God who forgives and no longer calls to mind the wrongs we have done. 
we may st we may still feel sad about our past, but we need to trust His promise and believe His grace and forgiveness is real through faith in Jesus Christ. The news you should lead us to thankfulness hmm. and assurance faith brings. When God forgives us, when God forgives, He forgets. Boom. When God forgives, He forgets. The prayer here for today says, Dear Lord, thank you for your grace and your offer of salvation and forgiveness through Christ. Thank you for this free gift that is not based on anything I can do. Amen. The footnote says, Grace and forgiveness are unearned gifts. Today's reading was from Hebrews chapter 8, verses 6 through 13. And the key verse for today is Hebrews 8, chapter 12. Or I'm sorry, chapter 8, verse 12. I remember their, their sins no more. There he goes. Grace. Ah, boy, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. He knows how to be. He knows how to do it. I'm telling you what. I'm uh, so glad that we have a God who is all forgiving, right? He's all forgiving. And um, I tell you what, I can't be, uh, can't be more. Let me get rid of some screens here. It might go a little wonky on you for a second. I'm just trying to pull up the screen here so we can do that. I would like everybody to make sure that you are give that you are um that you have um make sure that you have uh, tweeted out this here and I'll pop it up here in a second before we get to prayer I'm gonna pull something up here and um I'm going to pull this up here, competition agency. Alright, so 3 million heart giveaway. And um, we're going to do this. Make sure that you retweet because you want to make sure that you get the hashtag uh, Jason, or where is it? Hashtag? I got it written down here. There we go. We're going to do a Rick. It's going to be a hashtag. Um, here. Hashtag Jason three million hearts for his CDs, right? All right, hashtag Jason three million hearts. That's what we're gonna do. And uh, make sure you tweet that out, and uh, we will uh, definitely get. Uh, wow, my head was really shiny in that picture. <laughs> all right, so let me do this. Let, let me finish getting this uh, three million heart thing all set up, so I can make sure that I get. Uh, get to everything cool here. Let me bring this up to the front. Order. Move to top. Ah, where is it? It's not there. It's not there. It says it's there, but it's not there. What's going on? Where is it? Webcam. Move to the middle. Sorry, guys. I was, n I was totally forgot about this, and then I was like, oh, I got this thing all set. Sure I do. Uh-huh. There I am. Hey, look at that. There I am. All right, so let's do this. Fade that guy in there. All right. So now you should be able to see me. Yes, you should be able to see me. And um, you, know, you want to make sure that you, um, that when we're all done towards the end here, we're going to do this. So that's why I figured I'd put it up right now. It's uh, hashtag... Jason, three million hearts. But if you made it easy for you, all I gotta do is retweet, retweet my broadcast, or tweet out my broadcast on Busker. Um, there's nobody live over on uh, on uh, YouTube, so I don't think we need to worry about that. Um, but we can do this and say um, the hashtag three million hearts. All right, so let me put that up here. We'll put a little thing up here. Fancy, right? Fancy smanchy. 
Yeah, we have fun with this. Uh, with this, you know why? Because you guys give so many good hearts over here on Periscope. It's amazing. But um, but you know what? I'm uh, we're we're starting to starting to get some good traction over on um, on um, on Busker and uh, hopefully over on here on um, on uh, YouTube we might get a couple of viewers too because uh, there's so many users over there on Periscope that we have lots of you know lots of being able to um, Jason three million hearts. Let me put that up there on the thing, and then that way, let me put it as a different color because that's not going to work out well. So yeah, we uh, we're we're I'm so blessed to have you guys in my life to be able to uh, to be able to do this with. That uh, I'm just uh, just makes me feel so good to want to be able to help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like an 89 year old. Well, listen, some of them 89 year olds, like my my grandfather, he's 80, going to be 87. He, uh, he uses a computer every day. Uh, I'm trying to get him on Periscope and uh, let him come on here, you know. <laughs> It'll be good. He's got some good stories, man. I'd like to be able to uh, record some of them. It'll be really, really good. So there you go. There it is. Hashtag Jason 3 million hearts. All you got to do is just uh, uh, do that. And what we're going to land up getting is I have two CDs. And I don't know if you hear the girl in the background. <laughs> You go in the background. If you hear that there, you will. Um, uh, we're going to give away two CDs, right? Yep, two CDs. Uh, the girl in the background that's singing right now, she um, her name is Leah, and um, her she's usually over on her mother is usually uh, over on um, uh, Busker uh, under the band Anastasia. And that's the other CD I have is the band Anastasia, which is the whole family. The whole family is nine, nine kids, uh, nine kids, yeah, nine kids, uh, plus uh, plus the mom and the dad. And they, um, you don't hear her. Oh no! Let me pull it up here. Let me bring it up here. Let's hear her. Let me make sure you can hear her. You should be able to hear her now. Yep, and so uh, they're a really good band. Like they uh, they play banjo. They play it's mostly like bluegrass country uh, worship music is what they do. Um, they have a, a CD uh, that's a mandolin. That's right. There's mandolin. Uh, she plays mandolin, uh, guitar, violin. Um, uh, yeah, mandolin, violin, and guitar is what she plays. Leah, and then the, all the rest of the kids they all play an instrument. They play the bass. Um, the one girl plays the bass, um, the stand-up bass. Um, one girl plays the mandolin, um, the, the violin, the fiddle. Um, the mom plays the guitar, and um, the the son plays uh, the older son. He plays a uh, uh, banjo, and then one of their younger sons plays uh, the mandolin, and um, the baby. The baby they get her to sing, right? So. If you go and visit them on Busker, you'll be able to hear uh, hear their their recordings of of the baby singing "Baby, Baby, Baby," and um, just a great great family. And um, so they have they gifted me CDs to give, and um, yeah, they are they are great families, just like you guys. You guys are great families. You know, you guys are just great people, and um, I'm very glad to be uh, to be knowing uh, you guys as well as my friends. Um, from uh, you know the band Anastasia, so guys, uh, in a little bit we're gonna do this drawing. So make sure you retweet this drawing, retweet this broadcast, um, and if you don't and didn't retweet it, make sure that you tweet Jason three million hearts hashtag Jason three million hearts because we're gonna do that at the end of the broadcast in a little bit. So yeah, make sure you do that. Um, a good band, good bands. All right, so here we go. Let's get into our uh, our our prayer time. Does anybody have any prayer requests or praise reports or anything else like that? Um, anything else like that? We're going to give everybody a little bit more time to be able to, to do the hashtag. Um, yeah, invite files. Most definitely blessed to be connected to God. And, and no doubt. No doubt. It's a good thing doing life with each other. 
because um, we know that uh, there's there's just a um, there's a need for Christians to unify, right? And there's a need for us to be able to share the word for those who are not believers, right? It is our duty. It's our duty to make sure that we uh, teach others about Jesus Christ. And what better way? Than to uh, spend it with a little bit of time every night uh, or every day, whatever your time you broadcast, or if you don't broadcast, if you're just on there participating and helping uh, with the with it, you know, even on the other on the other social networks, just the little chats back and forth is great. So um, definitely, guys. Um, Becky, blessings, blessings, love, seven seven. Thank you, thank you so much. And um, uh, listen, we're. Um, we're, uh, we're, we're doing life together, so if you guys have any prayer requests or praise reports, throw them in the chat streams, and we can, uh, we can definitely pray for you. I uh, just wanted to say that uh, hopefully they don't come too fast, because I am uh, without Eggbot today. It uh, got cut off on the, on the session, so we're, uh, so we're there. <laughs> we're, we're, we're going semi-old school with me being able to not uh, keep up with comments, but... It looks like we're doing pretty good right now, so I do appreciate you guys. And um, so any comments, questions, um, or just uh, anything else, throw it in there. Well, let's talk. Uh, otherwise, we're going to we're gonna do this drawing here. <laughs> Tweet draw. Can't wait. I cannot wait. Twitter. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. All right, guys, tweet this out. Tweet this out. Let me go and pull it up. Let's let's get it back over here on the screen. I guess we got no prayer requests, which is fine. Just remember, you can always send a prayer request to my email address, jasonrwallace at me dot com. I do check it uh, usually in the morning, and um, I will pray for you um, if that's something you want. You know, not to share out with everybody, right? Um, so yeah, definitely if you need prayers. Um, Definitely, uh, I'll put it there. So, guys, we're getting close to uh, to doing this drawing. Everybody ready? We're gonna do two of them. So let's uh, let's do this. It's Jason. Three million hearts. Let me make sure I did it right. Yep, all lowercase. Jason, three million hearts. Are you ready? Let's see what we got. Jason, three million hearts. You ready? Drum roll. Drum roll. But let's see who we get. Oh come on! I can't pick my. I can't win my own. That's not right. Here we go. Let's do it again. Come on! It can't be just me. Let's try it again. What's up with this? Oh my goodness! Hello. What is this thing doing? It's crazy. Oh no! It's broke. <laughs> it's broke. It's broke. It's broke. It keeps picking me. <laughs> I already have the CD. Wow! What's going on with this thing? It's crazy. All right. Uh, how about this? Uh, hashtag only once. Do I need to take this out? Is that what I need to do? Oh, that thing is just broke beyond all belief. It does not want to pick anybody but me. It's drunk. It needs to go home. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so bad. Let's try it again. But I refreshed it. Let's see if it'll do it differently this time. Hashtag Jason 3 million hearts. I got it. This is so funny. I love it when technology breaks. Oh, I'm done. Oh my goodness, I'm done. This is not so good. Yeah, I'm the winner. Uh-huh. No, I'm not. Come on. Somebody tweeted it out. I know they did. All right, let's just pick a random retweet then. Let's just pick one here. Let's see if it does it. I need to have a, a random retweet. Oh, I gotta go. Oh, well then that would help be helpful then. Let's go pick one. Pick me. Sure, why don't you? Let's go see what the retweet is. It is this one here. And we just want to grab the link, copy link to the tweet. So that's what everybody did. Everybody did this retweet, so I should be able to do this now. 
Let's try this. Pick a random retweet. Rick Costa. Ha ha ha. Dude, you got you're hot, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. How about another one? Let's try another one. Let's try another one. This thing is this thing's silly tonight. It's being so good. Come on, it's Rick again. What what's going on here? Come on, this thing just loves like picking one person this thing with it. I gotta pick another person. Come on. I need a new person, a new Tweety. Come on. How many times did you retweet that, Rick? Oh my goodness, he is a winner. He is definitely a winner. Oh, this thing is drunk. It's time to go home. All right, refresh it. Refresh it. Oh, oh, oh. Let's try it again. Somebody, please. Oh my goodness, somebody different than Rick. This is so funny. Oh my goodness, this is so funny. Oh, oh my goodness. Told you it's rigged. I know, right? I know, right? Oh my goodness. This is so, so funny. That is so funny because this is the one that's live right now. It's hilarious that this is the one that it grabs. That's so crazy. Rick wins. That's so funny. Uh, Alright, well, you know what that means? Um, oh my goodness. This is just so funny. Let me copy it again, maybe. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. How many times did he retweet that? It must have been like 800 times or something. Rick's got the magic touch. <laughs> we're gonna, we're, I'm gonna restart this competition agency, man. I don't know what's up with this thing. Let's try it again, maybe. Let's see. It picks Rick again. Oh my goodness. Come on, I got another CD to give away. You know what we'll do? Let's do it tomorrow. I'm betting this thing is broke. All right, we're gonna pick one, another one tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just, I, I don't know what else to do. I love technology. It's my job, and it absolutely makes me insane <laughs> when when technology does not do what he wins it. <laughs> That's it. It's I've clicked it 16 times, and it's always been his name. So. Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. I'll ask him which one he wants, and then, um, and then, and then you guys can, uh, snuff in the ballot box. I know, right? And I tried to use something, like, totally, like, not, like, you know, a bucket or nothing, you know, just, like, make it easier. <laughs> and use technology. I'm about to find a different tweety, a tweet site. Uh, something's not right here. Why can't he be the winner? Why can't he be the winner? <laughs> but he can be the winner, absolutely. Absolutely. He works pretty hard at, at, at being at being number one, right? So, but uh, you know what? Here's what it is. Ultimately, it, it goes down to this: those who are faithful, God is going to bless, right? So, you know, if uh, you didn't win this time, that's fine. We're, we got plenty of more times to win stuff. All we need to do is just keep pumping more hearts. We're gonna figure something out for Busker. I just I gotta figure out what to do. Uh, Busker is a really, really good place, uh, new place to uh, to do this stuff with, and I just gotta figure out how the metrics work with it so we can get that going. And then you know, YouTube, we're gonna we're venturing into the land of you know 1.8 billion users, and um, <laughs> and um, and and that's and that's what it is. So um, you know, we uh, definitely encourage you guys to share the word of Jesus Christ, and that's what we're doing, right? We, 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 we're generous with each other, we show each other love, we, um, we, uh, you know, we check in on each other, we, uh, we treat each other like, like family, probably some of us even better than we do our own family, and, um, we probably should, should learn from that, right, and, um, you know, it's, uh, it, it makes me think about things that, that go on in life, and, and what, what I should do, and how I should do it, maybe I should be doing things a little bit differently. You know, so uh, stop and think about it, and um, definitely let that uh, let that stuff go up in the atmosphere as you're praying, right? That uh, that you need to work on uh, work on some stuff. I know I do. Today was a whole entire drive in to work today. It was literally 39 minutes of of uh, spiritual warfare, <laughs> literally. 39 minutes of spiritual warfare, praying the whole entire ride into work. And uh, the, the person in the car next to me must have thought that uh, 
that uh, sometimes people I've met on social media have been more like family to me than my own. You know, what? and that, and that and that's true. That's that's true. And um, yeah, yeah, I got that right. So definitely uh, pray about that stuff. You know, pray through this through these things. You know, pray for vision and direction. Say, God, I am, I am weak. I, I'm, I am nothing. I don't know anything. I need your help. I need your guidance. I need you to show me what it looks like. You know what? And then he's going to turn around and go, Listen, I already showed you. All you got to do is go open it up. All right? Go open it up and read about Jesus. Right, what he did. That's the ultimate the ultimate showing of love. Right? There's no better gift. There's no better gift than Jesus. He took away my sins. He took away your sins. He took away all of our sins by the cross. So just think about that. But uh congrats to Rick. Uh Rick, let me know which which CD you want, uh, whether it's the um, uh, Leah singing her songs, or um, the band themselves singing singing their bluegrass songs. Um, I give uh, give you a chance to uh, pick whichever one you'd like. Uh, guys, you guys are awesome. It is uh, twelve seventeen. Liz, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. We're having some technical difficulty, so we had one drawing tonight, and we'll try to have a different drawing tomorrow night. But we got to make sure we. We don't tell Rick about it. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, we, uh, we, so we have another drawing tomorrow night for another CD just because, uh, because I have them and I want to share them with you guys. And they were given to me as, as being able to, uh, give out as gifts. And I'm going to certainly go ahead and do that and honor the person who honored me with the, with the, with the CDs to be able to share. So definitely, um, so we had a couple more people come over on bus, excuse me, on busker, but they have uh, stepped away. And um, Lisa, Lisa says, "I'll jump over to over to YouTube just so we can have one person." <laughs> thank you, Lisa. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys. Any prayer requests, praise reports, um, comments, questions, you know, random Bible verse that we want to sit and discuss, whatever it may be. Um, you name it, let's uh, let's chat about it. So, um, guys, I'm getting so psyched up for this uh, mission trip. It's um, starting to uh, starting to sink in, right? Starting to get in my head what 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 we're going to be doing and how we're going to be doing it. And I can't wait. I just I really cannot wait. It's been uh, you know, it, it's been a, it's been a good time, and um, I cannot wait to uh, go there and show um, show those people there what Jesus looks like, show them love, show them all this stuff. Where am I going? I am going to the Dominican Republic uh, in the end of this month. Going to the Dominican Republic to the um, uh, into the sugarcane villages to. Um, to help evangelize um, and also to uh, help with uh, church plants and just come alongside um, mm -hmm. uh, some of the missionaries there that we support. So we have people, uh, we, we have a person we support who actually goes around to six different fire stations. You're going to Cuba or are you in Cuba? I'm not, I'm, I missed a comment. Uh, so someone, sorry, someone on Busker was asking some questions. So I'm going to going to definitely keep attentive to everybody. Um, Cuba, you live in Cuba or you're going to Cuba? That's got to be a place to go. Shalom. How are you doing, Weapons of Faith? Thank you for joining. Yeah, we're going to go to the Dominican Republic. We're going to be helping out with the uh, mm -hmm. with a, a a very very nice missionary guy. Um, and he's a he's a he's a local missionary to um to Dominican Republic. He is uh, his name is Felix, and he lives. He came out of the sugarcane villages. He 
he came out of, of that and he's basically uh, he's learning to be I, I believe he's learning to be a pastor just the way his direction is going you know he um, he came out of the sugarcane villages he worked hard he helped out and the one good thing was he was able to speak and translate English very well yeah, and the great you of Shalom that's right Shalom back to you I, I don't know the proper response but uh, but I, I, I greet you uh, as a uh, Thank you for joining my broadcast, and uh, may God bless you. And um, so, yeah, he he was in the sugarcane villages. He was um, cutting down sugarcane and uh, eating that when it, when harvest time was there, right? And um, and um, you know he was help helping out with the harvest, and he would eat sugar all day long, suck on the sugarcane. And so, what that does is it rots your teeth. And um, so he he as he worked himself out of the out of the sugarcane uh, village, he was able to um, um, he was able to work enough because he was able to speak English very good. So he was able to do a very good job of translating. So he was hired on as a translator with uh, with the missionary uh, team down there for SCORE International. And so he was a translator from Spanish to English. He was really really good. And he's still good at it. He's a very, very, just, just an awesome dude. And so what he did was, uh, while doing this translation, translating stuff, he's also uh, um, uh, reaching back into his community, right? He's reaching into this community. He's he's reaching out specifically to the um, to the fire stations, to the fire, you know, the firemen there, and uh, to help them out. And uh, they've gone some great things. There's a group called Brothers Without Borders. If you check it out on the on the web. Brothers Without Borders, they actually took a, a fire truck here from up near Buffalo area here and uh, took it to and actually f um, the Air Force, um, uh, you know, lift it, you know, did what would they call that with the big planes, they did an airlift of it. They took the, they yeah. took this fire truck down to, uh, down to Dominican Republic and delivered it to them so they could have, and they donated them a fire truck. Could you even imagine that? What's up, coach? Coach, guys, set free recovery coach. Coach put up some emojis, man. Uh, definitely, if you guys are not following him, you you really need to. And uh, he is a set free program that he's starting, and he's just getting digging into it. So if you guys need to be set free from anything, go follow him. You will be uh, so blessed. So great, so they can release fire, right? That's right. So they can put out the fires, right? So, um, but but so. He's going to help out. Yep, with the trucks, absolutely. They put out the fires. Uh, most of the problems in and most of the things that they're responding to in Dominican Republic are upset you free from tacos. <laughs> That's funny. Um, most of the things they respond to is um, like accidents, car accidents, and stuff like that. But they do have some fires as well. Um, but the majority of their responses is EMS. Yep. There's no fire trucks. There's no firemen. That's right. And so here's what it is. This is why we're doing this. We're helping them out, right? These guys are sleeping on the ground. They're sleeping in the back of the truck. They're sleeping in, in, in an ambulance, right? They, you know, they're sleeping down there and, and, and that. And um, and here we are, you know, we, we've got a nice comfortable bed to sleep in. And, and these guys are out there, you know, spending their time to save people. And they're sleeping on the floor. So it's horrible. So, um, so we're going down there. We're going to stand by and go along with uh, Felix into the the six firehouses and we're going to build them bunk beds. We're going to build them bunk beds, we're going to put up um, um, bookshelves and we're going to put Bibles in there. We're going to put uh, lots of Bibles in there. We have uh, we have 200 Bibles that we're taking with us and um, and so we're going to be taking that. Good night Lisa, have a very nice night. Uh, thank you for joining. And so we're going to be taking 200 Bibles down there to spread across the six um, uh, the six uh, fire stations, and um, yeah, it's awesome, man. To get the word of God into, into people, it's just it, that's what it's about, and that's what we're do going to do. We're going down there. We're going to, you know, we're going to do the thing that I was definitely, I know I was brought to do. We're going to go pray for people. All right, we did that last time, and I felt kind of uncomfortable, uncomfortable mm -hmm. about it because I didn't know exactly where my where my direction was or what I should be doing, and um, since then, obviously. I've, Come to know the Lord a lot more than what I do, not what I did then, and um, and um, being faithful with some, some stuff, and and I know now that He wants me to pray for people. That's what He wants me to do. 
He wants me to go and pray for people. He wants me to be in those situations where things aren't comfortable, where things are going on. There's, you know, there, there's there's stuff there's you know that needs to be there. He wants me to go lift people up and pray for them, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, take on that that um, you know I've taken on that duty and that role, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be one of those people that's going to pray for people because why not? <laughs> you know. I gotta be able to show people this, right? Oh, thanks, man. You know, it, it, that heart, that heart was a stone heart not not that long ago, and uh, it it took the Holy Spirit to reach in and just open my eyes and soften my heart and make me see that I was uh, not being such a great person in my life, and um, and still I'm still working progress. We're all still working progress, right? We're all fallen and broken, but you know what? Uh, pray for me. Saw the green water and. Calcutta and women in the village brushing their teeth with their fingers. You want to go? Yeah, man, go. Go. Find find a church that's going over there and help out. But make sure you go. Don't try to go by yourself. You can't do it by yourself. You have to be a team of people to go and um, help out. You know, when, when, when the church bands together and goes on mission, right? And that's really what it's about. When the church bands together and goes on mission... You can be more. You are a missionary. That is awesome. Right, so you you get it. You understand. You know what? Uh, you, and and it depends on what what you're going to be doing with it, right? That is awesome. Um. That that's good. So I do short term mission trips. Um. You know, and that that's what I've been called to do for now. And um. And who knows? Who knows what the future holds for me? But definitely, guys, go and help out if you can. If you can't go help out other people that do need it right we need we need spiritual backing right we need you guys to be able to pray for us you know what all right buddy you get some sleepy i get up early in the morning i know that i get up early too i'm gonna go cut out here pretty soon as well yeah we're um yeah amen amen i will set them captives free that's right they shall lay hands and on the sick and they will shall recover absolutely and that's what we go to do we go and we help people because they need it. They need it more than we do. You know, I shouldn't say that. they need it more. They need they need help more than we do because let me qualify that because we have churches, we have infrastructure, we have things here in our in our reach. You know what? There's a church on every other corner, right? And uh, just about depends on where you live. You know, out where I live, no. There's probably a church every couple of miles, but that's okay. Where am I from? I am from Western New York. I live uh, close to Buffalo, New York, and um, and that's where it, that's where it is. I live out in the country, so it's a little bit further. Sorry. Same here. Probably. Like, oh, you must be talking to uh, uh, Ken. Thanks for joining. Um, I didn't even see you walk in. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, we're um, we're going on mission, and we're gonna be doing this. Good night. Good night, Coach. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, yeah, we um. And that's that's where it's at. That's where that's where he wants me to go, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be faithful. I'm gonna let him uh, let him guide me. You're headed back to the Ukraine next year. It looks like. Cannot wait. That is awesome. That is awesome. There is a place that where there is so much, so much stuff. I mean, there's lots of places like that. There's so much corruption. There's so much stuff going on. So many broken and fallen people. A lot of people are caught up into the and do I play guitar? I play a little bit of guitar. I'm I'm just learning. I'm going back to learning after twenty years of not touching it, so I just started. Just begun. That's uh my white my light is just a little bit too bright today. Um it's like washing me out a little bit. But yeah, we um so yeah, we're gonna be going to, to Dominican Republic to, to do help out build bunk beds and do all that. Oh, I saw that. Oh, I saw that uh, in the spirit. That's good. That's good. Thank you. Um, yeah, I learned how to play guitar. It's taken some time. I have some friends who said that they would uh, be willing to teach me, so uh, who knows. Maybe when I get some spare time, I'll be able to take them up on it. Um, you know, and uh, being able to save up for a new guitar. We have a 20-year-old beat-up electric guitar, and it just doesn't sound well. 
when you want to play uh, Christian uh, uh, music. So sounds much better on acoustic guitar. So I'm saving up my pennies. I'm gonna get a nice acoustic guitar, um, electric acoustic. It's called, so I can plug it in and be loud. But uh, yeah. Any prayer requests, praise reports, anything else like that, please put them in chat stream. If I missed anything, please put it back in that chat stream and we will pray for you. You look like my buddy Colin. No, I don't know anybody by that name. Uh, but uh, thanks for joining. And uh, thanks for, uh, for listening to my broadcast. All right, guys. Um... With that said, hey Craig, how are you doing, buddy? How much is your guitar? How much is your guitar? Oh, uh, the one I was looking at was, um, I think it was like a hundred and forty dollars. It wasn't too bad. So that's probably about a, yeah. Blast! I'm blessed too, man. I'm blessed too. Um, you know what? I'm 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 yep. I'm, uh, I'm breathing every breath. That's right. One hundred and forty dollars is the guitar that I was looking at. wasn't very expensive um, for the guitar, but that's where uh, that's where that's where it's at. Um, so you guys want to see some stuff? Let's take a look at this. This is one of the schools. I want to help you. Buy your guitar. Well, that's awesome, dude. I appreciate that. I definitely appreciate that. Um, so here, let's let's do this. Let's uh, let's watch a little video. I want to show you about one of the schools that I'm going to be visiting. It's um, a couple of minutes ago. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? I'm so sorry, buddy. You're not a dude. You're. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've not even looked at it. No, nope, you are definitely not a dude. Nope. <laughs> and I'm following you. That's very interesting. Conference speaker, worldwide traveler, impacting the nations with his glory. Work and live with my wonderful husband and kids in Israel. You live in Israel. That is great. Uh, Europe, USA. Uh, shalom. And info. That is so cool. So there you go. I <laughs> know, right, Liz? I'm like, ah, uh, insert foot in mouth. <laughs> um. But yeah, we uh, that's where we're gonna be going. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, you know what we'll do. We'll put that up. Um, let's see what we got here. Let me do this. Here is um, part of the reason why we go and why we do what we do, right? So here's what it is. Let's let's watch this little video. Located in the Dominican Republic, the town of Quisqueya has 50,000 people. This is where Marquea Guzman, a native of Quisqueya and a teacher in the local school, received the call to serve the poorest of her students and start a manual house in the year 2000. Due to Marquea's trust and faith in God's provision, the help of Dominican and American churches, volunteers, and individuals, and with a heart always centered on prayer, Emmanuel House has grown from 50 kids in a small, crowded apartment with no resources to a foundation that now serves 150 children from 13 neighborhoods in Quisqueya. The children include preschoolers, elementary schoolers, deaf students, and special needs children. Coming from approximately 117 of the poorest families in Quisqueya, Emmanuel House children go home to extreme poverty. Many times they live in small, crowded houses without access to clean water, bathrooms, or regular meals. 80% of the children come from a single parent home. Emmanuel House seeks to feed the children spiritually, physically, and mentally. It is first a ministry of faith tending to the spiritual needs of each child and his or her family through Bible classes, prayer, and regular teaching of the gospel.
By the grace of God, many parents have come to know Christ through the ministry and relationships formed at Emmanuel House. Moreover, with the help of its teachers, Emmanuel House strives to educate children, many who are behind, focusing specifically on reading, writing, and basic math. And lastly, Emmanuel House has a feeding program, providing the students with breakfast, lunch, and a snack. Merkea has many hopes for the future, including building a vocational school, private school, and girls' home. She desires nothing more than for the kids and the parents who are part of the Emmanuel House family to one day be positive contributors to their community and servants of the Lord. I've counted up the cost. Oh, I've counted up the cost. Yes, I've counted up the cost in you. Oh, worth it. So yeah, you can see that um, that there's some good stuff going on there, right? And um, and that's what we're doing. That's what we're going to see. We're going to help people. And uh, you missed the entire thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, oh, what what? <laughs> yeah, we did we did our, our devotional. We did our, our Bible reading. Um, we've even done a little bit of other things, and um, we even had a uh, look at that band Anastasia. Band Anastasia's over on Busker, and um, so Stacy uh, and family, uh, I have uh, I've given uh, away one of the other CDs that you given me. I've given it away to uh, to someone, and tomorrow we'll be uh, we'll be giving away the other one. Yep. Chris and I are tuning in. You missed it all too. I know. I'm so sorry. All right. So for you guys. <laughs> It's okay. He was getting ready to go for tomorrow. That's all right. Listen, you got to prepare yourself. You got to be able to prepare yourself for your broadcast as well. This thing's making a buzzing noise, and I want to try to move it so it doesn't make any more buzzing noises, and it's just driving me nuts. Sorry. Um, if you want, it was a really good devotional today. You know, and I can probably share that one again if you guys want. I can read it again because it was a really good devotional. This one stuck out, and actually. Um, makes you stop and think a little bit so uh, that's what we'll do let's do that uh, I want to donate ten dollars ten CDs to your listeners ten dollars a CD want to donate ten C <coughs> I'm so sorry <coughs> oh Stacy you don't even know I'm so sorry Stacy here is the greatest thing you remember how we always talk about uh, God providing right God provides. On the weekend, we had a draw. We had a drawing giveaway thing. I'm sorry, I'm choking over. We hit our goal. <laughs> we hit the goal, and we went over. It's so great. We're <clears throat> going to be able to bless so many people. And you know, right? You know, you've heard it at, at church. Um, and it's so yet yeah, we did we I have met my I have I am fully funded so um, uh, Yep cup sighting there you go Craig you're so funny um, But yeah, we uh, we're fully funded now, so I am uh, I am uh, now we can concentrate yet yeah. uh, It's a little joke um, our friend uh, Craig is our is our resident uh, troll <laughs> he uh, he, he just calls out stuff, you know, randomly. So when I go to take a drink, he's like, cup sighting. Uh, but we love Craig. He's an awesome dude. He knows the Lord, and he knows uh, he knows his Bible verses. And he's, uh... Do you sing, Craig? Do you do, uh, do, you, do you sing at the worship team, or you just help out in the at the... Rick coughs the bedtime after this. Absolutely, it is bedtime, man. It's getting close to being bedtime. I'm sorry, I gotta get this thing out of my way. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we're uh, we're doing good, man. We're uh, we're doing really good. So uh, for those who missed it, I will definitely read the devotional for today. Jason never sleeps. That's true. That's true. I'll sleep when there's um when there's no no. When there's no children in my house and um, 
and I don't have any more work to do, and um, everybody knows Jesus Christ, right? <laughs> I haven't seen a heart from him in a while, neither does the devil. <laughs> so you don't have to be so so you don't you know, you have to be vigilant. So we got you, I got you. That's right. Don't claim that. There you go. I haven't seen a heart come from him in a little while, so he might be sneezing. <laughs> I get you, Stacy. I got it. All right, guys. So for uh, for this uh, devotional, let's read it again, just because it was it was a good one. Body needs sleep and rest. Absolutely does. I get enough sleep. Uh, trust me. I get more sleep now than I did when my when my kids were babies. So that's good. I used to go on like four. I'll call him on messenger. Get him after me. <laughs> that's all right. That's okay, Stacy. It's all good. Uh, all right, guys. So rings and grace. This is a good one for today. You ready? Let's listen. Not drunk. That's right. Only drunk on on in the spirit, right? So um, when I took when I when I look at my hands, I'm reminded that I lost my wedding and engagement rings when I was multitasking as packing up for a trip, and I still have no idea where they ended up. I dreaded telling my husband about my careless mistake, worried how the news would affect him, but he responded with more compassion and care for me. Than concern over the rings. However, there are times when I still want to do something to earn his grace. He, on the contrary, doesn't hold this episode against me. So many times we remember our sins, and we feel we must do something to earn God's forgiveness. But God said, but God has said, it is by grace, not by works, that you that we are saved. Speaking of the New Covenant, God promised Israel, I will forgive their wickedness, and I will remember their sins no more. We have a God who forgives and no longer calls to mind the wrongs we have done. We may still feel sad about our past, but we, but we need to trust His promise and believe His grace and forgiveness is real through the faith in Jesus Christ. This news should lead us to thankfulness and the assurance faith brings. When God forgives, he forgets. There it is. I can't I can't even go back to see the comments. It's gotta be funny. I I got egg drop egg drop here and it's just uh forgot to do it tonight and we're not egg dropped at all. Oh Rick, there he is, he's up, he's up, he's up. <laughs> no problem. Thank you for joining. Hey, listen, guys, we're, uh, we are, um, just about all of material, so it's about time to get some sleep. Uh, definitely, uh, there you go. Wow, that's a lot of emojis. Wow. Uh, good night, good night. Good night. He's working at 5.30. Oh, goodness. Go, 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 get some sleep. Get some sleep. That's where I'm about headed to. Alright guys, okay, so yep, it is almost my cutoff time anyways. He was on the phone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Good night, good night, good night. I am a saint. You know why? Because the Bible tells me that. The Bible tells me I'm a saint. Right? No no problem, Marcy. I knew you wanted to listen to it. And it's a really good thing that we got to uh, definitely talk soon. You guys, reach out to me by email. Reach out to me on uh, Twitter, direct messaging. That's really good ways of getting hold of me. Um, Facebook is, uh, is a little bit weird for me sometimes you know um, very cautious about about uh, the people that I bring into into uh, being my friends on Facebook but feel free to follow me I do a lot of uh, public posts um, of things that are good and um, uh, also on uh, Facebook Messenger as well hey 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 Javon thanks for Javon that's Jay right Jay that's your Jay yes it is Javon Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm still getting used to the new handle, but that's all right. My prayer request for Jason is to pray for Brisbane, Australian airport, evaluated for an unknown reason. You mean evacuated? Evacuated, I think. I'm not quite sure what we're praying for there, buddy. Uh, Lord, we, Lord, Heavenly Father, we just, uh, we, we, 
we see the request that came from our friend Craig today, Lord, and we uh, we don't quite understand exactly what's going on there in in Australia, Lord, and we uh, we just ask for clarity and um, and speed and quickness, uh, and then figuring out what's going on at that airport. And Lord, we just ask that you uh, that, uh, that that you see things through, and that uh, that everything turns out well with that. Good night, blessings. Uh, thanks for joining. Was not sure if there was an attack or was there an Australian news scope. Yeah, sometimes we have to filter a little bit of that stuff, buddy. Sometimes we gotta filter it. Uh, I see so many things uh, that go on. It's uh, sometimes it's hard to take all that in, right? So um, I'm missing my friend over on Busker. I usually have something, some a couple people that come in and chat. Um, one, her name's One Blast Cat. She usually comes on. She's been coming on. Maybe she's busy tonight. But uh, guys, I uh, appreciate every single one of you who has come on here to uh, to be on the live broadcast. And I am also very thankful for those who have joined me here uh, for the rebroadcast. Um, all the hearts and invites and follows and shares and retweets are just uh, just awesome. I believe there was an attack somewhere else in Australia recently. Yeah, there's been some some attacks all over the place, my friend. We need to be uh, we need to be cognizant of what's going on around you in the world, and that's uh, that's pretty much where I'm gonna sit with that. Um, look and see what what's going on, and you will uh, pray for people, pray for the situations, pray for the, pray for the people, especially that uh, there's clarity and there's things going on there, and also let's pray for those who uh, London hit twice. Yep. Absolutely. It is sad. It is sad, and I'm afraid to say it, but I don't think it's going to get much better. It's going to take it's going to take some more, and we need to, uh, we all need to be prepared. All of us Christians, we need to be prepared to defend our, um, depend, you know, uh, sorry, defend our faith. Because there's going to be lots of, uh, Lots of opposition to it, to it, and uh, they just don't understand. People don't understand, so we need to help help show them what it looks like. The world might be ending soon. You never know. Hey, you never know. You never know. But you know what? I'm not going to do. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to let it drive me crazy. I'm not going to let it worry me and give me a sick stomach. Right? All that stuff is uh, out of our control and why would I worry about my something that I is completely out of control of I can't I can't control it all I can do is help guide people towards Jesus Christ and also have faith in knowing that even if the world were to end tomorrow I know where I'm going do you I'm going up there to be with Jesus and uh, and that's uh, that's a fact. Um, him and I, we talk. <laughs> I've got. You have a question? Of course you do. <laughs> it's uh, ten minutes of time to go to bed, and we have a question. Of course, no problem. Listening to "Lose My Soul" on the radio. There you go. Who are the true Israelites? Hmm, it's very interesting. I like your um. Your question coming from someone who has a very interesting um, let's see what we got here Buddha pecan uh-huh and let's see I'm sorry just give me a second I'm just looking to see who who's following you oh yeah okay Let we can get and see who's going on here just give me a moment we're just checking stuff out got to know who I'm talking to, right? And the only way I'm going to know who I'm talking to is by the people who are, you know the answer, you want to see if I do. Well, let's, let's, let's hear it. Tell me what your answer is. I would like to hear this. Thought you had closed down. I was working on it. Thought we had someone come in who had said, I have a question. <laughs> I have a question. You know how it goes. I cannot let, my followers are irrelevant to my question. Well, how is that? 
Alright, so what is your question again? Tell me your question. Tell me what your answer is. You answer. You ask me. It's my broadcast. I can ask you. What is your question again? Uh, I don't have egg drop up, so I'm sorry. Um, who, oh, I'm sorry. You had, who do we believe the real Israelite, or real Israel, what is it? The real Israelite people are? Something like this. So who? Yes, who? Who is the true? I know where this is going, but that's okay. We can keep keep asking it. Who is the true Israelites? The true Israelites are the people who <laughs> who are from Israel. That's a pretty easy question to be answered. It's the people who live in Israel. They are Israelites. They're God's chosen people. You brought to the the promised land. Wrong. <laughs> I love this. This is so good. <laughs> this is so good. I love this. And who are they then? How does this chick have gold badge and zero broadcasts? That's very interesting, right? I was gonna. Rick, you're thinking on the same lines I am. I wanted to hear what her answer was first before I went and asked her about that, but... I said true Israelites. Well, who are the true Israelites? Come on, tell me. Let me guess. You have a prayer request? I'll take prayer requests, absolutely. Not the imposters. Oh, goodness, okay. So who are they? Your prayer request, put it in the chat stream and I'll pray for you. I love I love being challenged like this. This is something that helps me grow in my faith, knowing that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, and He came from a long line of Hebrew Israelites, right? Real Hebrew Israelites. Um, is it an eight eight? I have a feeling. I just have a I have a feeling. <laughs> we have an eight eight in the room. Um, we're going to start getting Bible references from Hebrews eight eight. I bet. Um, but yeah, so from a long lineage, right? A long lineage. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm seeing if you're teaching and teaching in here. Or I'm teaching truth. I'm teaching the truth of what this book tells me. Waiting for your green card. Please pray that it will come soon. Well, good for you. That's awesome. Lord Heavenly Father, we uh, we ask for speediness for for this gentleman's uh, green card, Lord. We hope that uh, that he will do good and with uh, with that with that green card and be able to uh, to uh, be able to uh, take on the, the schooling and or uh, work project that he is going to be engaged in. And uh, Lord, we just ask that you uh, you are quick and speedy uh, with with that with that request for his uh, for his green card, Lord. So going back to it, <laughs> this is what we teach. It's really simple. Let's see, it's a book. It's called the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible tells me, okay, and it tells me a lot of stuff. So it tells me, I have a feeling that person left. Yes, they did. She must have got upset with me and left. Oh, man, I wanted to talk to her about it. I wanted to tell her who the true Israelites were. Yeah, absolutely. Send your prayers, man, absolutely. I wanted to tell her who the real Israelites were. But I suppose I, we blew her cover, Rick. <laughs> we called her out as an 8-8 and she said, uh, she, uh, she figured it out. Listen, there's no, um, there's no need to bring and teach false teachings about, about who, who, uh, who the real Israelites were. Uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter uh, whether they were black, white, brown, green, purple, orange. You know whether Jesus was was black or white or or anything else like that, right? Only thing that matters is that he came here, right? No matter what color he is, he came here and he died on the cross for every single Jew and Gentile, right? For our sins. For the whole world for god loved the whole world do we need to go look that up 
We'll go look it up. John 3.16. For God so loved the world, he brought his son. The world. That's everybody. And last time I looked, it's a big circle with a bunch of people on it. It's a big globe. So he brought Jesus here for all of us. Right? So, um, definitely, uh, Two nights in a row, I feel uh, I feel that uh, a lot of these um, these uh, kind of uh, directed directed questions is a better way of putting it, right? I don't feel it. Sorry, I'm not seeing it. Oh, but yeah. So and that that's what it is. He sent him here for all of us, and it doesn't matter, right? If you're living your life with hatred towards a particular race or color or 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 persons um, because you feel very strongly that uh, that uh, your Lord and Savior is a particular color or that uh, you've been oppressed by by people of different colors because because uh, because that's what you're just cherry-picking verses out of the Bible and uh, using them uh, towards your own agenda, you know your your theology is wrong. Your um, you know your 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 teaching is wrong, and that's going to be a bad thing. You're leading a lot of people. You're stirring up a lot of people, and getting them thinking that that uh, they need to fill hate and use words that are not even honoring to their own 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 color their own race calling each other names like that is just unbelievable so there's a target for that they're aiming for yeah absolutely you know and I feel I feel so bad that there's gonna be a lot of people that when the end times do come there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be really surprised that they really were off mark you know they they, they just totally missed it and um, I'm praying for them, you know, because there's no one, no, not one soul should be able to go, have to go through the uh, pain and suffering of being incinerated in a lake of fire and gone forever. <laughs> to never have any more existence, ever. No, I don't want that. Mm -mm, not me. I'm going to bank on the, I'm going to bank on the truth that's written in the Bible that uh, Jesus Christ came here to this earth to take away my sins and to uh, you know bring bring me home at the end of the day right because I'm gonna have a relationship with him he's my that's right somebody needs to pray for him and I'm that guy right we've talked about this many times with my testimony about what what why I'm here and what I'm what I feel that God wants me to do you know, he wants me to pray for people, and that's what I'll do. You know, I'll I'll, I'll be uh, be praying for all those people that come onto the broadcast who ask questions about, you know, what they feel is their doctrine and stuff like that, and we'll we'll talk about it. You know, I'm not gonna beat you up. I'm just like that person that came on here. You know, I want to hear what their view and their their position is. You know, before they just go and ask randomly ask me a question, right? I want to know where where they're at. I want to give them a heart check, right? Give me a heart. I'm gonna give him a heart check and say, "Hey, tell me what you think that is first, because I'll tell you what, you know, it may line up, it may not line up, but you know, at the end of the day, God is love. He loves you. He loves me. He loves black, white, brown, orange, green. Does not matter. That hateful doesn't work. It does not work. It absolutely does not work." What you land up having is a cult of people that hate another group of people, but yet uh, use it like it's uh, like it's a church, like it's uh, like it's you know like they're doing good, but yet you know there, it's just continual indoctrination of bad teaching, you know, um, not good. Not good. I'm not. I'm not here to judge it. You know what I mean. They can do whatever they want to do. 
point, the moment they come on to my broadcast, and he's starting, this is my broadcast, right? You know, I'm here helping out other people know who Jesus Christ is. That's why I am here. This is the only reason I'm here. What, why else would a 40 some odd year old, you know, a, a guy from the middle of the country in, in uh, you know, in upper New York do, be doing this broadcast every night? Why, why would I be doing this if I wasn't led by, by God to do it? You know, there's, uh, he's put me in a lot of different positions and shown me who I am and who I should be and why I'm here and why I'm doing what I'm doing. You know what? I'm going to keep listening to him. I'm going to keep listening to him and what he tells me to do. You know, when it comes time for missions trip, why do you think I go, right? You know, my, my, my wife is still healing from, from knee surgery, right? We're still doing that, right? Oh yeah, Aunt Sandy. Update on Aunt Sandy. Yeah, we uh we prayed. For, you know, I was praying for her. She was part of my my um my morning drive into work. I was praying for her. Uh, I'm not quite sure where she is in her faith. Um, I know that she was you know she was brought up as a as a Catholic, and I'm pretty sure that uh, you know I'm, I don't know where she is. I'm not going to speculate where she is in her faith, but um but uh, when I was praying for her today, um, verse Mark, uh, Mark 22, Mark chapter 7, verse 22 came to mind about, uh, about having faith and being healed. For some reason, it just led me right to that verse uh, when I was praying about it. So I asked my mother to go because they didn't know if she was uh, contagious or not with the problem that she has. And um, so she went and she read when she got there her blood pressure was already on the rise up so our prayers are working right our prayers are bringing up her blood pressure her prayer our prayers are um, making her feel better and being more aware of what's going on and um and so my mom my mom uh, read read the bible verse to her and she laughed at her and um and uh, you know what i hope that i hope that one day that uh you know when when she'll stop and think about what that what those words were I'm hoping yeah because uh through faith in Jesus Christ you can do pretty much anything right you have everything at your at your hands and, that, and that's basically what that that passage says right it's mark chapter 7 verse 22 and we'll, we'll read it, and then we'll, we'll walk on out, because that's, uh, I'm getting tired. Sorry. She will. She will. You know, her, uh, her mother, my grandmother, was, um, was probably one of the most faithful people, uh, faithful Catholic people I've known in my life. She went to church every single day. She went to church every morning. She went to church. She prayed. She sang. A great, beautiful human being, and um, and um, maybe I have the verse wrong. Mark chapter four. Maybe. No, that's a mustard seed. That's a sower. That must have been last night. I'm so tired. I'm really like raises the demon possessed man. There's lots of good stuff in Mark. I just gotta find the verse because I'm I'm like stumbling here, guys. So give me a second. Let me get that up and running over here so I can see which one it was. Oh goodness! I sent it to my mother too. Yeah. Be right back. Get right on this guy here. We'll find it. But yeah, there's um. Now, re reading this verse is, oops, wrong one. Hopefully, we're still good here. There's my messenger. There he is. But yeah, so she's doing better. Um, blood pressure's up. Everything looks good. So she's um, she's starting to come around back to her old self. So I'm hoping that uh, <laughs> my mother wrote here. She goes, I read her the prayer, and of course she laughed. But at least I got it in there. Is what my mother wrote. You know, I love it. I love it because he's working. 
He's working on her. He's working on me. Working on everybody, right? Mark chapter 11, verse 22. So I was way off. Mark chapter 11, verse 22 through 25. And uh, Mark chapter 11, verse 22 through 25. I'll pull back up uh, Periscope over here. All right, now I can see here. When you get really sick and you start to reconsider a lot of things, absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, this was the woman who basically I spent my whole summers with her when I was um, in my, you know, like, uh, um, like, must have been 7th, 8th grade to, like, 7th, uh, 8th grade, freshman year, uh, sophomore year. I spent my whole summers with her. Um out at her uh, her her cabin out in the out in the woods you know and um so i got to know her quite a bit and we, of course you know through time and stuff like that we've we've, we've strayed away but still thankful for her oops sorry guys did not want to put that up there <laughs> for some reason it popped up on there um so let's do this it's uh mark chapter 11 verse 22 it says here, now this is, um, you can go back up, this is actually, there's where Jesus curses the fig tree and clears the temple, temple courts, right? So, um, so Peter, you know, after all this, they're walking, right? It says, in the morning, as they went along, they saw a fig tree withered from the roots. Uh, Peter remembered that Jesus, what Jesus said, Rabbi, look, the fig tree, you cursed it and it is withered. Jesus says, Have faith in God, Jesus answered. Truly I tell you, if anyone sees that this mountain, or, or says to this mountain, Go and throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours and when you stand praying if you hold anything against anyone forgive them so that your father in heaven may forgive you of your sins boom what more can you say about that about that statement what more can you say about that statement? One of the best men that's ever walked this earth. And uh, the only one that is a uh, defeated death. And uh, it's my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I'm hoping he is yours as well. And uh, can't say much else, right? It's like, boom. You listen, you pray for it, pray big, pray big, and keep praying, push, right, push it, pray until something happens, push it, alright guys, I'm beat, and it is past my uh, bedtime, way past my bedtime, so let's get some rest, let's everybody get some rest, um, know that um, Jesus loves you number one okay and uh, it says it in this book in the Bible so there's lots of places where he says it so pick that book up and just pick a spot and read a little bit and know that Jesus loves you know that I love you is this for real is what is what for real I must have missed a comment is this for real um, Night night. Oh yeah, no, yes, definitely. We're going night night now, definitely. Guys, thank you for joining me on my journey. You made me laugh. That's so funny. Um, yes, we're closing. We're getting ready to close, as Rick says. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, uh, <laughs> so, yes, guys, uh, thank you for joining me on my journey from Genesis to Revelation. One chapter at a time. Oh, it's not ending. We're just saying so long till tomorrow right 
till uh, till, till so long till we see you again. Um, but yeah, Nathan, thanks for joining. Me. Guys, thank you for thank you for joining me on my journey from Genesis to Revelation. Thank you for listening to me babble through and mess up some names in in the Bible. Thank you for allowing me to be able to share um, the word of of God with you, and also to uh, be able to share the gospel with you as well. Remember to share the gospel with as many people as you can. Right? We have to tell everybody about this great thing that uh, that Jesus did for us. And let them uh, let them help and, and know that uh, we are um, uh, that we want all good for them. So and uh, Jesus is there to be that uh, that savior. So guys, take it easy. Have a very nice night, and uh, we will see you tomorrow. And we'll do this all over again with a little bit more, and and uh, hopefully we'll get some more more interesting questions that take us uh, to drag us on a little bit longer. And uh, I got no problem with that. No problem at all. Uh, tomorrow is uh, is kindergarten graduation for my daughter. I can't wait. So uh, that's going to be a good day. Coach Dale, thank you for joining. Um, guys, we're heading on out. Um, well, once again, it's like I said, know Jesus loves you, know that I love you. Uh, know that every single member of the Jesus Did It family loves you. So check out the website, JesusDidIt.org, and uh, start looking at some of the other broadcasters as well. Follow them. You will be blessed. I know you will. All right, guys, get some rest. We'll see you tomorrow, and um, have a very nice night. And now I'm getting ready to close, because I'm closed. Take it easy. Sleep well, and be blessed. Tomorrow all the things were gone I'd work for